Please state your name and agenda. My name is Eric Anderson and I'm having an interview talking about my new album. Tell us about the new album and why is it called The Transitions Project? The new album is a combination of songs that actually began recording in 2006 and have been recorded up until recent times, 2018 summer. And so I call it the Transitions Project because it's a hybrid of different projects that have transitioned from when I used to have a band till me recording on my own. And so it's just a combination of a whole bunch of different types of recordings from one scenario to another, I guess, from having a band to being a solo musician recording on it on my own, if that makes any sense. What guitar tones did you get on these tracks? Well, for this album, um, I actually used a combination of a lot of different types of guitars. So you're going to hear several different types of acoustic guitars. You're going to hear a lot of different electric guitars and a lot of different guitar tones from clean to the dirtiest crunchy. So I tried to cover a lot of tones and just provide a wide assortment of sonic you know guitar parts what instruments are you playing on this album on this album I'm playing all of the guitars I'm playing bass I'm playing drums I'm playing keyboards I'm playing shaker I'm playing tambourine and vocals who is playing on the album so on the recordings they actually started in 2006 when I had a band. And so at that time, I started an album called Gemini Sky. However, it never got finished. It only turned into a six song EP. So I'm including four songs from that album on this new album. And to answer your question, it includes from those sessions, Jeff Devinney, who is playing drums, Carrie Heidish on keyboards, Steve Palladino on bass plays on Seasons Change, which opens up the album. And other than that, we have um, Michael Anderson, who is playing bass on a couple of different tracks. And Scott Hoster, who plays harmonica on one blues song. What would a new listener who is not familiar with the music expect to hear on this album? A new listener who's not familiar with my music should just be ready for a diverse assortment of music and songs that range from acoustic music to loud and heavy punk, you know, uh, blues, alternative, folk. I try to cover it, but I really call it Americana. How many songs are on the album? There's 20 songs on the album, and I might include a couple bonus tracks, but I haven't decided for sure. Is it a double album? It could be considered a double album. Um, most albums have probably between 10 and 13 songs. This album has 20. And so what I'd like to actually consider it is one album with two parts. One album with two 10-song parts, although it is an album entirety also. <laughs> Go to the other one. Do you have any favorite tracks on the album? Actually I do have a favorite track. Uh, one of them is called Retired Rockstar. Does the album have a theme at all? No. Um, not really. Not that I'm trying to put out there anyways. When will the album be available and how can people get a copy? The album will be available in fall of 2018 and the way that you can get a copy is either if you know me personally you'll be able to obtain an, a copy of the album if you are able to find me online and I have an, a copy of the album available you can do that but otherwise you can probably purchase songs individually through Spotify or other sources that I'll post later. What's next for you at this time? 
right now I'm just finishing up this album. I have some mixing and mastering to do, and I'm focusing on things that are happening in 2019, which will be coming up shortly. I just started a new band project, and we're doing some local things here in the town that I live in, Tracy, California, so come on out and play some music with me. Any final thoughts? Buy the album. <laughs>